Next, I want to transition to another two people who have done uh, uh, really putting in the hard work uh, to make uh, the world more inclusive. Uh, Sumeya Benganam and Red Rusek, the two of them have spent one year, 13 months actually, no, 15 months, sorry, it was a year in February, time flies. Uh, so they've been every single week for 15 months uh, sharing their time and making sure that the product management knowledge is accessible to all. Uh, so I wanna give a shout out. Um, Red, I guess you've gotta go first because uh, you're on the left there. Um, Red, tell us a little bit about why on earth are you spending 15 months with me every week uh, making the world more inclusive? You know, it's, it's funny, you know, usually Sumeya gets to go first. So Jeff, this is a relief. Thank you for the honor. And Sumeya, uh, I noticed that Jeff didn't make any bad puns or Red B jokes. Uh, for your, all those who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, this is awkward for me because I'm seeing faces. And for 15 months, there were no faces, but rather profile clips and mute and unmute claps, which is a clubhouse version of an applause. And I spent 15 months willingly with Jeff. Uh, but before I say why, I want to just leave a gift to the room, um, a joke, because it wouldn't be a complete conversation with Jeff Sumay and I if we didn't add some dry humor. A product manager tries to walk into a bar, but can't because the door isn't scheduled until next release. And that is my really bad product manager joke for the day. Uh, so first of all, why am I doing this? Why did I do it for 15 months plus? Um, well, for the first part, we're in the golden age of product management. It, there's been an incredible explosion, an insane explosion over the last decade. Uh, there are, are more product managers than ever before. And I could say this because I spent the last decade working with these ringleaders, the curious observers, the opportunists, the, the problem makers or the problem solvers, depending on how you look at it. And when the opportunity presented itself in Clubhouse specifically, I was noticing that there were all these product managers just hovering around a celebrity, uh, not just Clubhouse, but Sumeya, my colleague. And I'm like, Jeff, Jeff, listen, we, we know where the product managers are hanging out. They're hanging out in this thing called Clubhouse. We got to start a podcast. We got we to gotta start it over here. Like, let's not worry about a platform. He's just like, no, I'm a marketer. We need a brief. We need to create a Google Doc and talk about it. I love you, Jeff. And I just basically started it within an hour with Sumeya. I'm like, this is Sumeya. You've never met. And within a week, we were interviewing the most influential product managers. And for the next year, blessed we were in being able to help guide and answer questions from those who were seeing closed doors prior to meeting us, those who did not feel included. And if there was anything I'm built for, and if this is the day I die, my why is to always help other people find what they're looking for and make it fun. And so for that alone, I take zero credit for this. I'm living my why, but the platform is really Sumeya and Jeff who give the value to the product managers every single day. So with that, I wanna say thank you for the opportunity, not be thanked. Thank you, Red, for being there week in and week out. Always a pleasure. Heartfelt and funny, all in one. It's like a great movie, man. Thank you, Red. Uh, <laughs> Sumeya, it's been such an honor spending every week with you as you uh, just ask some amazing probing questions, as you uh, share some insights, as you refuse to give us the controversy that we ask <laughs> for, um, as you always agree. Uh, but uh, it's an honor uh, having you as an inclusive product management champion. I'd love to hear your why uh, you've dedicated so much time to this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, this this podcast is an inter intersection of two things I care deeply about. Uh, I care about opening up doors to people who are underrepresented to show up in product management, to welcome them, to create a, a space for them to belong. Uh, and I recognize that my voice is not necessarily a, a typical voice. Uh, and I also recognize that, you know, my passion, which is really the second reason, my passion for the practice of product management, my love for it, 
uh, is something I just want to share. It's like an infection I have and it's contagious. Uh, and so those two things really came together. Um, one of the things, I, you know, I get questions about all the time. I haven't talked about this before. People ask me, how come you know the answer to every question? And uh, I don't, I really don't. <laughs> but I, I have to tell you, even though I don't actually prepare for every show, beyond my daily work, I actually spend hours of times learning more about my craft, talking to people, curious about, you know, what are people doing that's different? How are they doing it? And while I might sound maybe like I know everything I'm talking about, uh, truly at the end of the day, I think all of us want to show up as humble people. We're all trying to learn. And so creating this space is, is something I'm proud of. Uh, and I'm happy to, that, to have met both of you and to have been doing it with you both. So thank you. You could transform a life, you can inspire the next generation, and you could build a better future. We want you to do that with us here at the Product Management Center. We want you to do that uh, through the Inclusive Product Management Accelerator, uh, through the How to Succeed in Product Management podcast. And we're going to keep going until we've built the future. So let us know how you would want to work with us, uh, again, as we build a more inclusive, uh, diverse, and skilled product management community and work together to build a better future.